Here at the show this year, we've had a fantastic uptake from visitors and exhibitors, which is tremendous for the industry. And the exhibition is proving to be valuable for visitors to see the latest equipment that is available on the market. Uh, this event's been absolutely amazing for us. It's the main emergency services event in our diary and it's the only event in the UK where we get the emergency services and all the allied services in one hall for two days. Uh, we're doing a demonstration using a structure called an igloo to showcase 3D simulation and how we can use it for immersive training at the Fire Service College. Rather than using uh, lots of resources, it's more cost effective uh, um, but it still produces a really good realistic training environment. New venue at the NEC, new dates in September and it all adds up to a fantastic show. We're up on visitors and we're up on exhibitors and there's a real buzz around the show this year. The exhibition offers visitors an absolute fantastic variety of various different exhibits as well as demonstrations. It's a live operation that we do uh, that takes two synopsis on it. One is that you drive around under your own ability in a normal day driving. Then with the beer goggles, we can show you what actually happens when you've had a few drinks with regards to your awareness and peripheral vision. Um, it's quite frightening between the two aspects. We've got Road Haulage Association uh, doing uh, practical demonstrations uh, on the outside area. There's lots of various different vehicles uh, doing demonstrations with hydraulic uh, platforms. We've also had some excellent uh, seminars that have been packed full of people uh, on uh, paramedic skills as well as training skills that uh, are proving very, very popular. This is the Lucas 2 chest compression system used by a number of ambulance services and uh, hospitals across the UK. It delivers guideline specific chest compressions to patients in cardiac arrest. So it looks a little bit brutal, um, but it does deliver guideline specific chest compressions to the depth of five to six centimetres, which is advocated by cl current clinical evidence. We've also got some excellent demonstrations going on, particularly for the paramedics and for the fire and rescue service. We've always attended the emergency services show. Uh, this year with it moving to the NEC, uh, it's a far better venue to be honest, uh, far more professional. Uh, we spend a lot of time and effort on the stands. We've found that uh, with the increasing footfall that comes year on year, we've got more visitors again this year. Uh, it's provided a better platform for us uh, to, to display our vehicles and equipment in a, in a better manner. So we're really happy with yeah, it. It's extremely informative. There's, uh, there's a, a very wide range of things and I think anybody who comes here from the guy who wants to buy vehicles to the guy who's just a freelance trainer like myself and just looking for bits and pieces and do some networking, you've got all the facilities that you need here. Perfect. I'm a student paramedic, I'm in my first year. Um, I came here just, just to sort of learn a few more bits and I've really genuinely enjoyed it and I've learned quite a lot actually. So We've come here to show one of the new products that we have which is for the marine industry which is Firefighters PPE wheel mart, showing this to people in conjunction with Servitec Group who are also launching with us jointly this new kit for the firefighters on boats, ships at sea. Physio Control were one of the principal sponsors of the show. It's been a great show for us. We've had a massive footfall through our stand. All of our learning booth slots were taken up uh, for our key speakers. Uh, they've thoroughly enjoyed those and uh, yeah, we couldn't have asked for more.